Hi, I'm Auri Katarina, and I deep clean dirty houses for free. Because I love cleaning, and I want to help people who are struggling. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. This house owner Sophie was used to live in filth. She slept on her couch and couldn't clean anymore even though she had tried. When I arrived to this house, I soon realized that Sophie had tried to recycle almost everything. She had plastics, metal, cardboards, bottles, papers and everything sorted out in her hallway. But the kitchen was full of trashes. Sophie's friends asked for my help for her. They wrote me that Sophie doesn't use internet that much and she really needed my help. So I said, of course I'm coming. Sophie's story is a bit different than others. Obviously every story is different, but let me explain better. I will tell you the Sophie's story when I start cleaning. Every time I see that bed, it breaks my heart. Coming up in this video, super satisfying cleaning and a lot of pro cleaning tips and tricks. First, let's clean the kitchen, then move on to the toilet and last, let's make Sophie's bedroom comfy again. At the same time, I will tell you Sophie's story and give you a lot of cleaning tips, so stay with me. Sophie moved to Finland when she was young and got married. She was living a normal life and got beautiful children with her husband. Parents were working and kids were in school. Sophie told me that the family was happy and it was her busiest but happiest time in her life. When the kids grew up, Sophie and her husband got divorced. It was a relief for her and she moved to another city. She started a new job as secretary and was enjoying life. She had friends and she went on dates. Then something happened that changed her life. She fell down and broke her hip. The doctors didn't immediately see this in her x-ray and she didn't get the surgery she needed. She was in horrible pain and tried to relieve it with some regular pain medication, but they didn't work. Hip fracture is a really painful condition, especially when moving the hip. Finally Sophie got the surgery and for a while things went well. She made a full recovery until everything changed again. I will continue Sophie's story in a minute, but now I think it's a good time to talk a little bit about mental health. May is a month to raise awareness about mental health, fight stigma and provide support for anyone struggling with their mental health. This year's team is Together for Mental Health, sharing professional stories in hopes of encouraging others to prioritize their mental health. BetterHelp is a professional online therapy where you will get matched with the best licensed therapist for you. When I was younger, I went to therapy for many years. It helped me a lot, and it's one of the things why I'm so balanced these days. Another big theme of Mental Health Month is advocating for access to mental health care. This has been one of the BetterHelp's goals. BetterHelp offers customized online therapy that includes video, phone, and even live sessions with your therapist. So you don't even have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. BetterHelp is also more affordable than traditional therapy. You can apply your financial aid during the sign-up process and they accept HSA benefits. There is a wide range of expertise in BetterHelp's over 20,000 therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. 
You choose fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Sign up for BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, through this link in my description or enter my promo code AUREKATARINA at checkout to get 10% off your first month and take the first step towards better mental health. Now, let's get back to in the Sophie's story. She didn't recover from this one and had to start using a wheelchair. She was in pain and lost her job. Sophie moved to this apartment and tried to find something to get her through the days. She started knitting and getting better. Soon after Sophie was diagnosed with neuralgia, and had to start using heart pain meds. After all, it was a relief for her since she had been in pains for years. She didn't care about the cleanliness of her home because she too didn't have the strength to clean it. And it wasn't even easy because she couldn't walk. Luckily, Sophie's friends decided to ask help for her. Sometimes it might be hard not knowing where to ask for help in a difficult situation. I was glad to help Sophie and listen to her story. Her story is exceptional since it doesn't include any mental health issues as most of these stories do. But still, talking helps. Now you know Sophie's story, so it's easier to understand what's going on and how someone could get used to live in field. I want to tell these people stories because they help others to understand that sometimes it's impossible to clean and you just try to survive. It's funny when I walk in these houses every week. It feels so good when I'm home and my floors are empty. That's something that I used to take for granted, but these homes remind me every week that I shouldn't. Back to cleaning. How would you clean this table? I mean, what product would you use? I think I'm going to choose dish soap, because that's one of my favorite products. First, I'm going to spread the dish soap. And after that, I'm going to do some scraping. You can also wait that the dish soap will soft those stains, but I don't have time for that. So that's why I'm scraping the stains off. I really love wiping this table because look at that. So white and shiny. Okay, let's move on to the stove. Here I'm using oven cleaner. If your stove isn't that dirty, you can also use dish soap. But here the stove is pretty nasty. And I mean nasty in a good way. There was a lot of burnt grease, so that's why I used my popular stove cleaning method. Spray some oven cleaner, put plastic wrap on top of it and let it sit there at least 6 hours and then scrub it. And voila, cleaning hasn't been ever this easy. You can use the same technique for your stove inside your oven and bottom of your pots and pans. Then I add some stove polisher and voila, the stove is happy. Ooh, look at these oven knobs, they are so dirty. <laughs> Let's take them off and then let's wash it. If you have a glass oven door, you don't need plastic wrap because you can straight away scrape it clean. I spray some oven cleaner and then I'll wait 5 to 10 minutes. Then I scrub it. Oven cleaner will soften the grime a little bit so it's easier to scrape it off. 
Then just wipe it clean and now you can see through. Many people think that the oven door glass is brown or it is impossible to get it clean. That's wrong. It's super easy. Try it. Or perhaps if you have watched my videos, <laughs> you have already tried it and you know it works. This cabinet wasn't too bad, but I want to clean it and reorganize it. When you are wiping your cabinets, I always recommend to vacuum it first. It really helps the wiping after that. Here I'm using Scrap Daddy's Mold Surface Cleaner. It smells amazing. Just spray it, scrub it and wipe it. When I reorganize cabinets, I try to think what are the most common used products. Those goes on the bottom shelf. Then I try to make cabinet look pretty. Because if your cabinet looks pretty inside, you kind of want to keep it in that way. So it stays organized also after the cleaning. Ok, this stove hood is really greasy. So that's why I'm using oven cleaner and scrub mommy. You can also use dish soap. Ooh, look at that. You can also use dish soap if your stove hood isn't that dirty. Pro tip: If you wanna make your stove hood shine, use power paste. I wiped this two times: one with damp microfiber cloth and one with dry, so there's no marks left. Sometimes it's hard to take stains off vertical surfaces. I recommend that you spray or scrub some detergent and then you let it sit there for 5 minutes. Then scrub it again and wipe it. The time will work for you and the stains are softer after 5 minutes. This trash cabinet is so full that it's no wonder Sofia doesn't put her trash here. But I'm going to change that. This is how to clean your trash cabinet. First, take everything out. Then, wipe it with microfiber cloth. Then, just put everything back and it's clean. If your cabinet smells really bad, you can also wipe it with vinegar. It destroys all the smells. I mean, everything doesn't have to be in order all the time. But if you open your cabinets and they are full and messy and dirty, it's hard to keep them clean. If your cabinets or most of your cabinets are in order, it feels so good. I like to organize mine and other people's cabinets, because it feels like I can organize my life around me if I want to. My world is cleaner and clearer. Ooh, let's clean this floor. I always wipe floors with squeaky. It's super satisfying.
I'm wondering what is this? It doesn't want to come off. But I disagree. Usually these floors are so dirty that I can't mop them or uh, like I have to wash them completely in this way. Unfortunately, my car is so tiny that I can't fit a water vacuum in there. That's why I have to get the water out with a cloth. You can see the final before and after shots at the end of this video. I promise you, they are satisfying. Woohoo! Finally, let's clean this toilet! I have been waiting for this one. Look at that brown pocket. It looks super dirty delicious. When I saw pictures of this home, I immediately fell in love with this floor because it looks super dirty. <laughs> for the shower, I'm using oven cleaner because there was a lot of grease. There was like grease and hard water stains on top of it, so oven cleaner does the work. Sophie didn't have a trash can in her bathroom, so I think that's why there was a lot of trashes in her bathroom cabinet. Here I'm using some multi-purpose spray. The cabinet wasn't that dirty, so that's why it doesn't matter what kind of product you use. Just spray it and scrub it and wipe it. This mirror was really dirty. I bet you can't see it in that way, but it was. Here I'm using dish soap and then I'm just wiping it and rinsing it and then I'm going to wipe it with dry microfiber cloth. And then it's clean. And I'm happy. <laughs> Time to clean this beautiful dirty bucket. I have no idea what was that. I had to let it sit there for a while because it was stuck. Like, I let it be there um, maybe an hour. And even after that it was really hard to get it off. But I like challenges. Because now it's clean. Would you wanna see the whole toilet cleaning? Because I'm not sure of that, so let me know in comments. There was only dust on top of this toilet, so that's why I used this soap. Okay, let's clean this toilet completely. First, I'm using oven cleaner because we have to get rid of all the grime. There's two types of stains in this toilet bowl. There's soft stains such as grease and grime. Oven cleaner, which is highly alkaline product, will work on those. Then we are left with the lime scale, which is a hard stain. We need an acid-based product for that. It's completely opposite of oven cleaner, so this Harpic 10 x will do. When you have lime scale stains inside your toilet, you'll have to wait for that to work. I'll have to let it sit there over a night, so it works. And of course, I forgot to film it after. <laughs> you can also use vinegar if you want. 
choose pour vinegar inside your toilet bowl and let it sit there over a night. And then scrub it in the morning. Okay, this sink cleaning is too satisfying, so enjoy! Finally, I can clean this floor. I have been waiting for this one. I'm not sure how stained those black marks are, but I'm kind of hoping that I can remove them all. If this floor had been plastic floor, it would be impossible because plastic absorbs everything inside of it. Mm. Yeah, you can see that there's still some black marks, but I think I'm going to try power paste. It's better, but it's not perfect, of course. But it doesn't have to be perfect, because that's not the main idea. The main idea is that Sophie could live here again, like normal life. And I think now she can. Then here's the Sophie's bedroom. Like I said, Sophie is sleeping on her couch. When I came here, I look at her pillows and blankets, and those look pretty nasty. So I wanna buy her a new ones. As you can see, there was a lot of apple juice package. That's why I made a poll on my Instagram where I ask it, do you have any name suggestions for this house? And someone came up with this name, Apple Juice Apartment. And I think that was brilliant, so that's why I named this place Apple Juice Apartment. In case you are wondering who is this other person in this video, I can tell you that she was a reporter who came to shoot me cleaning to make a story of that. She also helped a little with the cleaning. I usually wipe the dust with a duster or microfiber cloth. I don't usually use any chemicals because you don't need them when removing dust. But if there is also some stains on the surface, I will use some natural spray. I spray it and then I'll wait a couple of minutes so the stains are softer. If you wipe it immediately, the stains may not come off. Now let's wipe the floor and then let's make Sophie's bed beautiful again. Surprise under the sofa!
cleaning is a really good exercise. I usually burn 3000 calories on cleaning days. When I worked as a full-time cleaner, I never did sports, because cleaning kept me in good shape. I bought new bed sheets, blankets and pillows for Sophie. Okay, here comes the before and after shots. They are so satisfying. Sophie was amazed when she saw the results. She had so much space again and a beautiful home. The toilet was clean again, but the kitchen was my favorite one. It became so beautiful. It must feel so good when you have lived in filth and stains. And then your home is clean again. But now I have to go, because the next dirty home is waiting for me. See you! Bye bye!